trigonometry, and today we're going to learn the six trig functions. So you already know three. You know the sine, the cosine, and the tangent. Today we're going to add the cotangent, the secant, and the cosecant. Now, to define what's going on here, the sine and the cosecant are reciprocals of each other. The cosine and the secant are reciprocals of each other. And the tangent and the cotangent are reciprocals from each other. And if you see how I connected from inner to out or outside to in, if you write them in order, you can always remember what's a reciprocal of what, okay? And let's just put in their abbreviations. That's sine, let's call our angle theta. Cosine, tangent, cotangent, secant. So it's always the first three letters until you get to cosecant, and that is CSC, still calling the angle theta. We learned that the sine was the opposite over the hypotenuse. Therefore, the cosecant is the hypotenuse over the opposite. The cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So the secant is the hypotenuse over the adjacent. The tangent, remember Sokotoa? O over A, opposite over adjacent, so the cotangent is adjacent over opposite. That is what that means. We also learned, say that's the coordinate plane, angle theta. We learned things in terms of x, y, and r. So let's add that in here. The sine opposite over hypotenuse is y over r. That means the cosecant is r over y. The cosine relates to x, x over r. That means the secant is r over x. Tangent y over x means this is x over y. If the sine is a reciprocal of the cosecant, it's one over the cosecant, that's CSC, of theta. That means the cosecant is one over the sine of theta. The cosine would then be one over the secant. That means the secant is one over the cosine. And the tangent is one over the cotangent, and the cotangent is one over the tangent. Two special things here. The tangent, I mentioned this in two lessons ago, is also the sine over the cosine and that means the cotangent must also be the cosine over the sine. And that's a summary of an introduction for the six trig functions for you. I just would like you to take notes and commit this to memory as we move forward in our lessons for trigonometry. Thanks, have a great day.